Hi there, my name is Scott from New Jersey. I go by Scotty the NJ Medium. But I have been officially a paranormal investigator for about eight years. Since I was about three years old, I could uh, see ghosts. What's up, ghost? The, the good? I'm kind of funny and I don't mind the camera. The good is, is that I really enjoy what I do uh, all around my normal day job is that my day job, I work at midnight shift actually, um, is I'm a police officer and I have been since, uh, I've worked with the department since 2010. Um, the bad, the bad, uh, I will eat the last slice of pizza. I don't know, I don't have anything else bad to say. I don't critique myself uh, that hardly, and I hard, and I don't take myself that serious most of the time. The ugly, I, I don't want to call myself ugly, but I'm not, if I turn to the side, nah, I'm no Brad Pitt. I don't have any ugly. Uh, I've had a very awesome life, loving parents, uh, loving family here at home with me, two great children. Brag about your skills and experience. Well, my skills are, I'm a psychic, I'm a medium, I'm a paranormal investigator. I don't stop until I find a solution or I find something that is a solution for the client that we are working for. It's very important. Uh, a ton of empathy in everything that I do. Uh, that means that I am there for the paranormal part of it for sure, but I also find myself acting as a counselor as well, which I draw a lot on my experience as a police officer. Uh, what makes you stand out in a group of ghost hunters? Um, I am a psychic. Medium, I gotta keep honing in on that because that's kind of my thing. Um, what makes me stand out amongst others is, uh, I think most people would tell me compassion. I, I was really happy that uh, so many people had tagged me on Facebook and sent the casting call into my inbox and the uh, overflow of love saying that I would be a good fit for what it sounds like you guys are looking for. <sighs> Man, I, that, I hit right here, I was really excited to hear that. Um, Skills and experience. So my skill is that you don't tell me anything about the location. If you've ever seen The Dead Files, Amy Allen, that's my style. I go in completely blind. I don't want to know the clients. I don't want to know the location. I want to know nothing. Initially, I want to go into a home completely clean and clear of any information, walk into the space and start doing my psychic evaluation, my reading and my walkthrough. I am often known to just get photographs of locations and do psychic readings on those and give the information remotely in order to help the paranormal team understand what's happening there if I can't be on location that day. So I think that's a pretty special skill. Equipment? I got equipment. Hold on. It's a couple things here. Um, if you guys have ever been on a ghost hunting trip, you'll recognize some of these things and there's a whole other slew of stuff. I, I know how to work all of it, of course. I'm, I'm a paranormal investigator. You gotta know how to work this stuff. It's a real nifty thing being a psychic medium, getting to use all the electronic goodies and then going to the old school kind of way of doing things. It's uh, it's really awesome. I love, I love this more than the electronics, if I have to tell you. So my process is basically what I described. Uh, go in blind, understand uh, from my point of view what might be happening if there is such paranormal things happening. Um, I'd rather be right for the client and for the spirits than for myself because I'm not there for me. I know what I do. Teammate that comes with me and his name is Brian McCauley. Uh, he is a former Demon Files, uh, which was a, a cool TV show. And do I believe in good ghosts and bad ghosts? <sighs> yes, good ghosts and I will have a conversation with them and explain to them that they don't belong there anymore and we help them cross over. It's pretty easy when they want to go and they're just lost. The evil ones, the bad ones, the negative ones. Yeah, they're there and uh, they're a little bit harder to get rid of but certainly with the right team, it can be done. Most recently in Long Branch, New Jersey, myself and Brian went on an investigation in a home that was built in the 1800s. Uh, I went up into the attic and I felt this very sad, heavy presence. It felt like a female who had lost a lot of children. So uh, we noted all that stuff. We do an electronic session, doesn't yield much information. So we moved on to the history and the history, um, lo and behold, 
there was a female that had lived there uh, from the late 1800s into the early 1900s, and she had lost three children under three years old. And we felt that that was who was occupying that space. So myself and Brian went upstairs into the attic. We said some prayers and we helped that spirit cross over. Uh, he, uh, upon a checkup just a couple weeks ago, says that the house is clean and clear, no negative feelings. I hope that you like my tape. I hope that you guys give me a call back. My name, again, is Scott. I go by Scotty, the NJ Medium. Thanks for your consideration. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Have a good one.